Welcome back to the channel. I have had my Lumi keys for months now. I'm not a music editor. I'm using Lumi Key mainly as a learning platform. If you're new to Lumi Keys, please check out my previous video. I did some basic review there. Let's go over the two bundles offered for buying Lumi Keys again. Later in this video, we're going to work with some music editing softwares to try to simulate the note sustaining effect without a sustained pedal. Rolly Studio Player is one of those music production software that would come with the Studio Edition bundle. If you're going for the bundle offer with Piano Learning Software Membership Lumi Complete, you should still be able to find alternative software package to control your Lumi keys. The GarageBand app is one of the good examples on the Mac system. In this video, we're going to go over multiple Lumi key setup. If you're planning to travel with the Lumi keys often, we are also going to talk about the portability aspect of Lumi. I also want to share a few sustained pedal hacks with you towards the end of the video. Let's get started. The Lumi apps can only be run on iOS devices, so we connect our Lumi keys through Bluetooth. After the first Lumi key is paired, the app is going to ask if you have additional Lumi keys to be connected. With multiple Lumi key setup, some songs, especially classical music modules, we expose the left hands and both hands options. Be aware that the left hand notes will not be available for all songs. I found most pop songs may not come with the left hand notes even if you have multiple Lumi keys connected. You can still play with the modules with right hand notes only. You just won't see the instructions on your left hand keyboard. I usually have my Lumi keys hooked up with my Mac. I only need to connect one Lumi keys with the USB-C cable. The remaining Lumi keys will talk to each other through Bluetooth. If you're planning to play with the headphone, be aware that there may be huge latency with Bluetooth. Once all of your Lumi keys have been initiated, it is okay to disconnect and move them around in the positions that you like. Lumi keys is extremely portable. I'm on a long-term road trip with my family. I don't have space to carry a full-size keyboard, so Lumi keys became one of my best options. I can basically fit everything in just one backpack. If you're not planning to travel with your keyboards and you're not doing music editing, it probably makes more sense to just buy a regular full-size keyboard than having multiple Lumi keys because of the cost. Only the unit that is directly connected with the USB-C port will be charged. If you need to charge multiple Lumis at the same time, Consider getting a USB-C hub and some extra cables. The battery indicator only shows the unit that is being highlighted. Lumi keys doesn't come with a sustained pedal. I couldn't find an easy solution to attach one. I have seen people trying to attach Lumi keys with some MIDI devices, but I'm just not an expert on those technologies. 
I found a setting in Roni Studio Player that can actually give me similar echo effects. It may not be enough of what you need, but let me show you how it sounds. So first, open Roni Studio Player and leave the default settings. This is the bass sound without the sustain effect. Now we're going to increase the value of the release settings. It is simulating the sustain effect. I learned the next tag from another channel. I'm going to leave the link on the description so you can see the original content. If you do not have Roly Studio Player, you can use other MIDI control software. You hold down the tab key and then click and hold the instrument you selected. Release the tab key. Now you have sustain on. With this software hack, the sustain is going to be enabled for the entire time you play. Okay, the next tag is going to be a DIY. Almost all Max comes with the GarageBand apps. Start the project by clicking on the software instrument button. From the Windows menu, select Show Keyboards. Select the Music Typing View. From there, you can see the sustain button. Then I set up the second mouse connected through Bluetooth. One important step is to put a bandage on the lens so that I cannot move the cursor with this mouse. The next step is to use the trackpad to move the mouse cursor over the sustain button. Now the second mouse works pretty much like a sustain pedal. This is how it sounds without sustain. It may not be a good hack for the professionals, but if I ever make you laugh, do give me a like and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. This is all I have to share for now. I hope you find this video helpful. See you next time.